Hello, everybody. This is Jack. Thanks for joining this training. Um, you will get more details about how to send emails, but also some understanding from why split testing is so important to double your results. So if you hear me well, say hi, so I also get familiar uh, on, uh, with your name. Hi, Patty. Thanks for joining this call to today again. Hi, Paul, Lloyd. So um, I actually created uh, an high knees. Good to see you. Uh, I actually created um, a nice, uh, I would say, quiz kind of you can um, you can uh, check your knowledge. Are you ready? So here I um, sent out an email of today, correct? One of those subject lines you received. Uh, so I'm not going to ask which subline you received, but the, but the question is, I sent an email today, an invitation email to today's training. Which subject line do you think had the highest open? One, sounds crazy, right? But it is true. Uh, two, have you ever wondered? Three, Learn today the system that I use to send 500,000 emails per month. Four, concerning your digital agency. Five, this is only for true digital agency lovers. And six is, what if this can help you? So the please vote everyone, or uh, I would say enter a number. One, two, six. One is sounds crazy, right? But it's true. Have you ever wondered? Two, three, learn today the system I use to send 500,000 emails per month. Four is concerning your digital agency. Five is this, this is only true for digital agency lovers. And six is what if this can help you? Everybody voted or enter a number? Think you are got some of you guys have not entered an owner. Is it hard to 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 uh, decide which you think works the best? It's pretty hard, correct? It's pretty hard to say what will be the best. And that is kind of the idea of split testing, correct? So who has the highest opened uh, from all the six? Separate lines is, and it comes now, is six. What if this can help you? So a few of you guys had this right, Peter, I see, and Wayne. So it had actually a 25% open rate. Wow. So if you compare this to... Um, three and six uh, is significant better, correct? Or actually one, so compared with one, sounds crazy right, but it's true. It's almost double, huh? almost double the open percentage. Who had that, who has talked that about? Huh? But, 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 but. There's something why many of your guys are right. So what, for which service or product or whatever, can you use what if this can help you? It's kind of apply, it's very general, correct? So if you are really driving for all percentage, for example, you want to introduce you, you want to brand you, you want to get high over percentage, then six is likely the best one. It's, it's, it's proven the best one. But if you're really driving for sales and clicks and action, then the open side is 
on itself is not the most important. It is important, okay, but the most important is clicks, correct? The most important clicks. So actually, my question was not 100% complete. What I was looking for with this email is which subject line has the highest clicks? So I ask you again, which of those six subject lines has the highest clicks? One is, sounds crazy, right? But it's true. Have you ever wondered? Two, three, learn today the system I use to send 500,000 emails per month. Four, concerning your digital agency. Five, this is only true for digital agency lovers. Six, what if this can help you? So which of those six subject lines has the highest clicks? So we know six has the highest opens, and, it, and the subject line is very generally. Kind of you can use this now in many cases, and I would use it if for any cases if I really want to drive for open. But let's say I want to have a high entity attendees on a webinar. I want to have my website visited. I want to really have an action. Huh? So if I really want to go after action, would I use subject line number one? So crazy right, but it's true. Of would you use have you ever wondered? Number two. Would you use number three? Learn today the system I use to send 500,000 emails per month. Four, concern your digital agency. Five, this is only for true digital agency lovers. And six is what if this can help you. Before I reveal the winner for the highest clicks, I want you to notice something else. Do you see those are not small difference, correct? Those are significantly different subject lines. And so I can really check in which area I need to look for clicks and opens. So those are not uh, sounds crazy right, and one is sounds crazy right, but it is true, or but it is true. Those, no, those are really six really different subject lines. So are you ready to see? to learn which subject line had the highest click. And this was also significant, huh? This was also significant. Okay, did you make up your mind? One, two, three, four, five or six. Huh? Good, ready? Good, three. Many of the guys had the right answer, many. So learn today the system I use to send 500,000 emails per day, per month. That is kind of where you, what has the highest open from, from uh, 36 clicks. 36 clicks compared to, you know, 32. Well, it's close. So many people who open the email also clicked on it, but here, uh, not as many opened the email, but uh, was slightly better in a high amount of clicks. So three really won from uh, number six. Not by a mile, but it won. So why did three win? Even the open percentage was lower. It won because the people who opened that email got the content what was related to their intent when they opened the email. So it really said this training is about emailing. So it really, the subject line was in line with the body. Now, if you don't know, do they click on email but not open? Not sure. If, so all the people who clicked on a link in the email, they opened. So first they opened the email. So 388 people opened the email. Within the email was the webinar link. And I click on 
how many of them click on the link in the email. So I track clicks. And if uh, if the call to action is not happening in the email, maybe the call to action can be a phone number. Then you know, then you go after open. But if the call to action is uh, a link, you kind of go after clicks, unless you need to warm up your server because high open helps warm up the server. So if my server would be called and not warmed up, I probably went for what if this help you because I'm not really getting that much lesser clicks. I, I get a significant lesser open, but my email server is all uh, is warmed up. So I probably go for the 36. So, but it's not really significant. Not 36, 32 is really good. And maybe if I run it for another day, they might even grow together. So it's it's now a couple of hours that they uh, were sent. So they might even grow close to each other. But if you compare this with some crazy why, then 36 compared to 19, that means two times as many people who open the email are now attending this training. And that is huge, correct? 50% more. So that is my also my 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 statement is with a good shopper line with a good email body you can double the results and that is crazy that is insane that you can just have so much effect from a simple shopper line and the only way to reach that result to know which shepherd line works the best is doing split testing. And to, that is today's topic, how to split test with Sand Eagle. We make this so super simple that you say, hey, Jack, I don't know why you spent on training on it. The reason is, first is, almost nobody, almost nobody, with, from all the gurus you re receive emails, apply split testing. So you guys are um, you guys are subscribed to some gurus, correct? You get emails every day, and probably you, many of you guys, almost everybody has two email addresses. So actually, if this shows twenty five percent, that means fifty percent, because almost everybody. I have two emails. That's crazy, correct? 50% open. That is insane. I know it's insane. And actually, if you want to re hear something really insane is that during the COVID period, my open percentage was 50%. So almost everybody opened my email. So that's how uh, how it was during the COVID. Now, my open percentage is around the 20%. Uh, depending on how many emails are sent and the topic, so 20%. What I wanted to say is that you probably are subscribed to big gurus who send you almost every day or other day or uh, regularly emails. Now, tell me yes or no. If you use two email addresses, do you see two different separate lines from those gurus? Do you see two? Some do. Huh? but most not and that is where they leave the money on the table i i promise you a lot of gurus leaves a lot of money on the table when you receive an email from me when you receive an email from me you can check it out huh you can check it out almost always you will see different shepherd lines. Not always, because sometimes I sometimes I know a shepherd line works the best, and then I use the winner. So first I test which shepherd line really um, has the best results, and then in my follow-up email or another time I use the winner. So I'm not always do split testing, but I do very often split testing so that um, I know what works the best. 
And that is what I, uh, I want you to learn today, how to do split test to double your results, how to do split test to get high opens, how to do split test to warm up your server well, how to split test that you get a lot of clicks, how to do split testing that you get results. And if you say, you know, Jack, I get only one lead per month or whatever, huh? and you send the same amount of emails and you get two leads per month or two leads per week, you, you, it's, it's very easy and almost effortless to double your results. And it's just by stupid, simple uh, super clients, split testing, and apply that knowledge. So let me demo it to you. So let me first, uh, so, so that was kind of the reason why I was one minute late today. I just took a screenshot and I put it in the PowerPoint. So it was like, hey, Jack, where are you? I was uh, taking the screenshot. So here you see uh, the, 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 the screenshot I took from today and uh, the results. So I created those Shepard line uh, split testing. Now, Jack, that sounds interesting, but how do I do that? That is kind of why, you know, first, first, I need you to understand that the next email you're going to send, split testing is important. It's not, it's kind of not optional. Of course it is optional but you want to do the, the right things. You want to have success with email marketing. So um, split testing is often not popular. So when I do promotion, about, so I will be honest with you, when I do a promotion, when I do a promotion, a promotion about split testing, okay? Um, I don't get much, I would say, enthusiasm. I don't know how you say enthusiasm. I, I don't get the feeling from others that it is very important. Now, I hope today's training, I hope today's training will kind of change your mind. Okay. So, Split testing is important, okay? Why it is important? You can double your result and it's easy. It's not, you already have created your email. Uh, you already have created email. So what is emailing? Okay, you have subject. You have the email body, and then you have um, the the landing page. Okay, then let's say you have also the leads where you uh, the prospecting leads, correct? So that's okay. So that is kind of the elements what you use to. Send emails. No, then my statement is if you can double the result in five minutes, okay, would you do that? Let's say, let's not say, then do you agree that? This is important. That's first do important. Yeah, of course it is important. Double the result. Holy, it's it's not so easy with email body and landing page and leads to double your result. It's not that easy. It's possible. You can, don't get me wrong, but it's not so easy. Okay. Subject line split testing. is the most, is the easiest, 
easiest step, easiest way, easiest action to double your result. It's that insane. Okay. Well, is a valid sample size. Okay, good. I will cover that. Do you guys agree on this? Enter yes or no. Because I feel many members don't get this without this training. When you... Um, um, when you, uh, everybody, everybody uh, have worked email res autoresponders, correct? And how much, at, how much attention did you, how much attention did you pay on the, how easy it was to split test? Yeah, did you even looked at it if it was able to split test? Was it even a decision point? When you sign up for that autoresponder, no, correct. Many when you see all those promotions about uh, those autoresponder, they don't, they do not really cover split testing. Because the reason why they don't cover it is because people are not implementing it, and they are not asking for it without this training. They uh, are not aware of it. No, that is what you make unique. You kind of get trained that split testing is important and easy. Now, of course, you need to use an application where you can easily implement split testing. So that is what you're going to learn as next step. So you create an email, okay? Wait a second, create an email big fat button, okay? Then you enter your name, you, you select your email address, and most time only one, okay? Then give the name. So give it split testing. Now tell me about where you want to send an email about. Just give me, give me a, let me go to the, uh, uh, you have those called email templates, correct? Uh, email user. Uh, okay. We have those called email templates. Get, tell me which service you want to create an email. Just tell me. Just tell me which, which, where, where you want, where, uh, ERTC. Okay, ERTC is hot, correct? Ha, ERTC, two votes. Okay, so it's the top one. Okay, so I here I here in this I have three. Um, so let me copy this for every server for well, not for every for many servers I have uh, called email template. So if you need that, uh, if you use one of my products, I can provide you that bit. Okay. And then uh, I copy this, control V. So now I have the email. Now here with the email template, I also provide uh, the subject lines. Now I, I, let's assume I only have one. I don't want me to make it too easy. Huh? That would not be fair. Now tell me, tell me, what I need to do to do split testing. Everybody see what I need to do to do split testing in this interface. What do I need to do? See if you all guys can figure out how to enable split testing, huh? Okay, Pat is right. Okay. Bill is right. I kind of want everybody tell what you would do. I was right. You see this button? See this button? Ever see this button? Here, I add second shepherd line. 
Huh? Wow. Is that everything what I need to do? No, kind of. You can say, you can say, okay, after 80% of the list or 50% of the list, okay, use the best one. What I typically do, this is what I do, I, I typically send 100% of the list, and then once I send uh, the list, I send the best subject line to uh, to the follow-up of email. But you can do either way. You can also say, I, I send, let's say, 1,000 emails, 1,000 emails, and then after 1,000 emails, uh, I send uh, the winner. Make sense? Now, let us assume you do not have the ID, the creativity, the, you know, the knowledge to come up with good shepherd lines. So then you click on advanced A-B split testing. Click on it. And then uh, you can say, okay, send a name, send a name. Okay, I didn't want to do that. You see a search email subject line, click, select on that. And here in the search email subject, I can enter the keyword where I want to have um, subject line. So let's do about the tax. Okay, search from Icon, search from San Eagle. And now, Good news, got WM for your company. Okay. Hotel owners are getting more. And then those are ranked with quality score. That means that they are ranked according to opens and clicks. So, so let me let me just get a couple of them. Those another the hotel owners, great news. Finally. Okay. So I I all I actually not do all only the five with the quality score five. Select those. I now select those. They auto automatic added as a split testing. Wow. Did you just see what I did? I I I don't need this one, so let me delete this one. I I, get, I had one, and now all of a sudden I have nine good super clients. So let me, let me, good news, W for company. So not sure if the, if you can have, if you have the company in the field, but for, let's say if for your company. So then I'm not depending on if that information is, I don't know, hotel owners are getting. So then I'm stuck with, uh, so let's do business owners. Covid relief, accounted business owners in auction so in how's the tax are getting more code in your area, in your state. Covid relief, does your hotel, does your business? Can I see what I just do? Is it not amazing that with almost no knowledge, I get amazing good those are all proven to work because they had they get uh, let me explain this a little bit more okay let me I'm, i was not clear on this okay so how does google work google google work you enter keyword and google shows you um, um, I would say the the most liked uh, websites. So that you kind of, and if you get good search results, you will keep using Google. That's correct. So how does Google determine that? You know, if they click on the search zone and if they stay uh, on that website. Everybody agrees on this? Now, I kind of translated this knowledge to subject lines. So we start with keyword and I want to show most liked 
let's say, best shipping lines. Okay, what determines the best shipping lines? So that is an algorithm between open it and clicks, correct? So if I use the sell the shipping lines, what has the highest open and the highest clicks, it should show on the top. And I rank those between zero and 10. So I, every shipping line get a ranking. And when you search on uh, with a certain keyword, it shows shipping lines and they get a rank. So for example, what we did here is I searched with the word tax and I get all the shipping lines what are tax related, either in the shipping line or in the body of that email. And they get ranked according, you know, how they were open, how they were clicked. So Sand Eagle shows me the shipping line, which have the highest open and clicks. And then I get as an idea, a starting point for my uh, email. Does everybody understand how, the, how this uh, method works? So first you have to understand kind of how Google works. Google shows the keyword and most like website, which is, which is kind of, you know, if they click on it and they say in the website. But the same kind of knowledge, the idea is what the terms a good shipper client. Now, of course, they, you want shipper clients which get open and get clicked. And I apply an uh, algorithm to it and I score and I rate them between zero and 10. And once you search with that keyword, it will show me the best. Is that not amazing? This exists nowhere. You know why that not exists? Because people who create autoresponders, they don't have Google Ads knowledge. They are not analytic in that sense. I came up the idea because I do a lot of Google Ads. And I know how Google works, and um, and also know that split testing is the most easy step you can do to double results. So not amazing that how long are we on the training for the, for this? In two three minutes, we created alternatives, and I I really don't know. I really don't know which of those shipping lines are the best. I not really know. Now I know that there is not a bad, uh, bad choice because they all had ranking five. But I cannot say which one is the best. I cannot say. I can only say those are really good to split tests. And once I, uh, once I know which works the best, huh? I'm going to use that knowledge in maybe after a certain amount of emails or uh, in my uh, next test. Yeah. That is a wow, correct? This this deserves a wow. And um, so I'm really proud of it. It's not only I'm proud about that uh, you understand now that split testing is important, but I'm also proud how easy it is, correct? Everybody can click and click on this. Okay, there's not, you don't need to be technical. Huh? You don't need to be technical. You can add separate lines and you can uh, read the results. There's no technical, uh, uh, no, no, there's zero, zero. Now, um, you say, Jack, you just use an example, what you know works. And that could be the case. Huh? And I want you to challenge me. Tell me about a service. Tell me about something to come up with shipping lines. So I want you to reputation. Okay. Let's see. 
Okay, I have to spell it right. Uh, trans translation service, can we add our own subject lines too? Yes, yeah, yeah. You can just add everything. Huh? This is just uh, huh? my subject line. Okay, plumbers. Okay, reputation search from. You see, mechanical service, my service, how fast and home base, what we be doing looking for. Okay, a good online reputation can save your business. Hey, here, need, need a place to send birthday parties. What does your brand reputation look like? Okay, have you noticed some information sources more relevant to life? Your reputation score in Google is hurting your business. Is it not amazing? Select those and here. Good. Those are really three good starters. You see this? I did this within a minute. I'm not saying that you can do better or so, but you got really good starting points. Huh? And uh, plumbers. Okay. Plumbers. So not sure if plumbers um, get results, but you most time you offer uh, services. Which serves from San Diego. Plumber funding option. What business should use online directories? Okay. Reputation management is vital to your company. What is online directory? Shopify. Looking for more business. Looking for more business. Okay. You just lost a new lead. Here is why. Uh, actually. I love, I love this one. You just look. I think this shepherd line really will do well for almost any service. Huh? If I get this uh, email, I'm interested what he's meaning. Huh? Looking for my business, so it's leads, what business should you you online direct? You see, you get three really different shepherd clients IDs, but you just should split us and see how that works out. Hmm? Correct. Good. Uh, so here you enable you, you this module. You check on it, enable it, and then you can use this module. Guys, see is how to use it. You enable this, and you get IDs. What is that, fans? Okay, here, the next one. Did this, this is a subject engine to get IDs? Now there is some advanced A-B split testing. Almost nobody doing it. Almost nobody. This is the next step. So first, this is the 90% result. But there is some advanced stuff in it. You can also do advanced A-B split testing. I don't. So if you say, Jack, I don't want to get confused, that's fine. You don't need to know this. Cynthia asked me this now three times, so I, wa I want to cover it. So it's advanced A-B split testing. Now you can split as shepherd lines, what we're doing here, but you can also split as sender name, like, you know, the DOM, okay? Or Mr. Jack, okay? Now, I'm going to I'm going to find out which of those three first names getting me the best result. Huh? Yeah. Can I see this? So now I'm going to split that what works the best. Or I can do a complete email. Email number one and email number two. Crazy, correct? Crazy to split that the whole email. The complete email, totally complete different email. Yeah, I do have an E2C campaign. So uh, if you need that, just email me. Uh, I can e I can actually send it to uh, at the end of the training if you want. So, but that is the, so the ABS advanced is really advanced, okay? It's for, once you kind of do first the, the basic shepherd line. Okay. But again, it's easy, correct? It's easy. 
It's super, super easy. That is what I complete subject line. No, subtle name. I never seen somebody split testing it from any go. And then the complete email. I don't think many do. I don't do either. Not too much because it takes effort. It takes kind of effort to create an email. But if you really focus on one service, one niche, huh, you can put that effort in it. I always, always, especially with the first email, I do sh uh, split testing. Huh? Good. Oh, you see this? You you don't see this in your account. Uh, this is for my account. Product Jack Turbo. This is for my account. I can track if I send emails, if I got an, a, a, a conversion. Okay. So when you so here you see a conversion, you can add uh, uh, you can add. Uh, conversion a, a pixel on the landing page okay then you you know which 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 email got converted you can worry plus jbz that is how the conversion works that is what you see in your account okay this is more uh very uh this is more um for the really advanced uh next step on and I, for me, I track who who uh, make the sale on Product Jack, Turbo, Duplicate, Digital Agency. So I track which emails, uh, how, which subject line got conversion. You guys want to see this? You want to see this? How more? How how I do conversion tracking? So that is first you do open. Can I change for form email us? Yeah, you can change the form email us. Uh, first, you do open. Then, second, you do clicks, and the third one is conversion. Does that make sense? So, my, so, okay. Here's the thing: zero to eighty percent. Okay, let me do eighty percent of results you get with split testing. open rate okay so if you do at this point nothing implement split testing agree let's say you do split testing and you know how it works and you love it okay you go for the next step you go for the 80 to 90 percent you go to the 90 percent level now you open on clicks okay you really want uh, that they land uh, on your website. If you really want to drive it home, and I'm telling you, almost nobody does it, or, or almost nobody, I, I had almost nobody, I'm not get, getting a name, but I say 99.99% of all the goods, okay, then they do it. You go on conversions. So, how does conversion work? You put an, an thank you pixels on the landing page on the thank you page make sense so i don't want you to feel confused i want you to feel comfortable said jack i know how split testing works okay then when you're really good at split testing you're going to focus all and if if the conversion happens on the landing page you're going to focus on the clicks and if you really want to drive it home and you have a reasonable amount of conversion. You need a reasonable amount of conversions to say something about you. You cannot do this for one conversion per day or so. You need kind of have 10 conversions per day. Then you're going to drive home for conversion. And all can be done with Sand Eagle. So Sand Eagle is very advanced, very advanced, much advanced than you probably know. It does all kind of cool things that enables you to do cold prospecting. It's a, it's a lot of uh, action getting taking place to get that email in the inbox, and it's not easy. Gmail and Yahoo are so difficult, hmm. but San Diego managed that uh, 
uh, manage that really well. And uh, I want you um, not uh, not focus on ABC. I want you just focus on Shepard line. That's enough for today. Now, since I promised, uh, I did uh, see here uh, Sunday. Some of you guys have received or not. Some of you guys have received or not that do uh, all. An email this weekend about the email market training. Enter yes or no if you received the email market training. Uh, and you get kind of almost every weekend a promote, correct? Now here, I sent an email on Saturday and two on Sunday. Can I see this? And when you click uh, on the plus sign, I didn't do split testing. And the reason why I didn't do split testing is because I run that promotion in the past and I knew which uh, worked the best. You see here, nine conversions. So that is where it comes in when uh, when I know how many conversions I have. And, this, and I know Product Jack is feeding this back to San Diego. Make sense? And I do this for all my promotions. All my promotions, I know what works the best. See this? So, and here are the statistics. Can you see delivery rate? Delivery rate is kind of the open rate. Yeah, I don't have problems with delivery rate. So, Emailing is simple, okay? And then let's say delivery rate, um, how do you say that? If you focus on open rates, you do not have problems with delivery rate, okay? So it's not an item for me. It's not an item for me. Is it better sent from a domain email or from a Gmail? Gmail? You cannot send from a Gmail because Gmail is a uh, an, an general email. So it's not verified. So you need from a domain email. Okay. Does that make sense? So delivery rate, you, you do not focus on delivery rates. You open on, you focus on open rates. That is, you want good shopping lines. It all starts with good shopping lines. If your shopping lines is not good, then your result is likely also not good. Now here's the thing. Uh, you can you can trick people, the prospect, to open your email, but that might not always. When they open the email, that might not always result in an action. So sometimes, and you see this also here. Um, here is what if I, if this can help you. This is not a bad shepherd client. Actually, I can use this. Uh, uh, when I have no idea with Shepard line, uh, I, 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 can use, I want to use, I can always use this, correct? But here, I found a Shepard line has a lower open percentage, 50% is still good, okay? But has uh, the most actions. So then um, this probably I'm going to use going forward. But I keep this in mind. Let's say uh, I send the uh, replays, and I really want that uh, my email get opened. Then probably I'm going to use this. So it's kind of where in in the cycle I am. I am. Now today's training, what I really wanted you to demo is that split testing is important. That you really can do this easily 
with San Diego. So my question to you is, did you, do you, did, did um, how do you say this? Your expectation to go in this training, did it fulfill your desire to learn something, how to email and how to use San Diego to apply split testing and double your results? Good. Uh, those subject lines uh, is in database. Uh, so in San Diego, I have a database of subject lines and you can tap into it. Okay. So, um, since you stay to the end of this training, let me share this E to C template with you, the viewer, copy link, and I will put that in the uh, chat. If you watch this on YouTube or replay uh, and you like this training, I appreciate if you would uh, hit the like button and if you want to get notified for more training. Uh, please consider to subscribe so you don't miss the next training. And with that said, I really thank you for your time. And as you know, every Tuesday we have another training and um, i like you to see uh, on this training as well. Thank you so much and see you next time.